Hi, my name is Tobias Hodel and I will introduce you to Transcribus and how you can use it for recognizing pre-modern documents. Transcribus has been developed within the READ project. READ stands for Recognition and Enrichment of Archival Documents. The goal was to make archival documents more accessible, especially handwritten ones. The result was the research infrastructure Transcribus, which you can download freely on transcribus.eu. The infrastructure is maintained by the READ cooperative. Transcribus is based on artificial intelligence. Neural networks are used to identify lines and recognize the writing. Neural networks are also used to identify layout structures. The layout analysis finds you all lines on a page. Even for difficult layouts, the correct lines are being identified. Only minor reprocessing has to be done manually. It is possible to train your own recognition models. For this, you need to align the text with the layout. With only about 50 pages of document from, say, pre modern area, it's possible to train your first model. You have the possibility to choose between two training engines. The first one is provided by the University of Rostock and SITLAB. The other one, called PILAIA, is provided by the Technical University of Valencia. Both engines rely on neural networks, but their architecture is completely different. Let's have a look at some examples. If we train 5,000 words of a Carolingian minuscule here from the library of St. Gall, with about 5,000 words, about 1,000 lines, we get a character error rate of 7%. So 7 out of 100 characters are going to be recognized incorrectly. In this example, the problem is the expansion of abbreviations, which we decided to do automatically. In this second example, we try to recognize the letters of the Contest of Brandenburg. 48,000 words, 6,450 lines, gives us a recognition model that recognizes over 97% of all the characters correctly. This is about the best that you will get of the engines that are currently in Transcribus results-wise. In this third example, the goal was to train not only one single hand, as in the examples before, but to include several hands and try to model something like a generic model to recognize charters of the 14th and 15th century. With 77,000 words and 3,500 lines, we will reach a CR of incorrectly um, recognized uh, characters of about 5%. In Transcribus, you will also find a variety of already prepared models for different scripts and also early prints. For example, for Roman type, but also for administrative hands of 16th century, for charter scripts of the 13th to the 15th century, or for Latin prints of the 16th. If you browse through the models, it might be possible that you find something for your needs. Users are also encouraged to share their own models in order to build a larger variety of available models in order to fasten up the process of recognition. For some models, you can have a look at the validation set in order to make sure that the script is similar to what you are working on. It is also possible to search directly in the recently recognized documents. Try out the keyword spotting where you also can search through variants. For more information and introductions go to transcribus.eu Thank you for your interest and keep subscribing.